Hi guys, my name is Bhagya Gudakanda and in this video I will explain to you how to properly create and join a roommate group and search your potential roommates on your housing application for the next academic year. Once you get to the next steps portion of the application, there will be a brief text including all the instructions that you would need to know. However, I will walk you through the steps one by one in this video. When you get to the roommate profile, it will ask you a brief questionnaire which will be used to find potential roommate matches which I will show you in the next step. The name that you wish potential roommates to see is going to be your UC username by default. The description is very important. Um, my recommendation to you is be thorough and be descriptive as much as possible. Make sure to include any of your interests, your um, you know, school habits, um, anything that you would like others to know about yourself. And finally, make sure to tick the box if you wish to be included in the roommate search process. Here you would be able to create a roommate group. You can fall under two categories. One, if you already have a roommate group identified or if you're going to be searching for potential roommates. If you already know who you want to live with and have a friend group, you would need to communicate with each other and appoint a group leader. The group leader will then go into the application and hit on create group. And then here you would make a group name and give it a password. I've done this before so it has pre-populated for me so let's go ahead and do that. And then you want to make sure to check this box and hit save group. The group leader will then share this information with the rest of the team. Um, right now, it's just myself, uh, but once other people join the group, it will show the names underneath. I will briefly explain you these three options. Um, every time a new group member joins the group, you would have to verify the group, and that's going to be the group leader's responsibility. Delete group is when, um, let's say the group leader gets a request from somebody else to join their group, then you, the group leader will need to delete the group because you will not be able to maintain two groups at the same time. Edit group is just um, to edit the group name or the password. Um, so for, for this video purpose, I'm going to delete the group for now. And if I was another member of the team, I would click on join group type the group name and the password and hit join group. In this case, it's not going to work because I just deleted the group. Let's go back. And if you're in the second category of looking for potential roommates, you can use these three options to look for other roommates. You can search for roommates by their details like their username. Um, you can search for roommates by profile. So basically you just like mention um, any of the the answers that you gave initially, like how important is cleanliness to you, same gender, um, tobacco preferences, vegetarian you know, or vegan lifestyle, etc., and you hit search, and the system will show you um, matches. Or you can simply hit suggest roommates, and you will see um, other students, and you can see the matching rate according to the way that you answered your questions. And here you'd be able to send them messages and communicate internally as well. Once you communicate and come into an agreement, then you can invite them to join your group or you can join their group. Again, the same process, you just have to share the username and the password to join a group. Now let's go back one more time. Um, that's really about it. Once you join a group and verify a group, you should be good to go. However, I do want to emphasize on two main points before ending the video. Um, once the room selection opens, the group leader will be responsible for assigning the entire group into a room or um, or, or apartment. So um, make sure the group leader is on top of it and that they have the earliest time slot. And second, Discuss the room location, type, and price point amongst all the students before room selection starts. This will make the room selection process much smoother. And my recommendation is to have at least four options in your mind um, when it comes to room selections. 
that's about it. Uh, and if you have any questions or concerns, contact UC Housing. You can email them at uchousing.uc.edu or give them a call at 513-556-6461.